Mr. Ricky Gervais. Whoa. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it really is me. Calm down. I do a lot of work for charity. I don't do enough. They say you can always do more. But I look at it like this. It's a pain, isn't it? <laughs> Nothing in it for me. Do a lot of work for um, cancer. That's my chosen charity. Do a lot of work for people with cancer. And they're welcome to it. But I will say this. If I ever get cancer myself, I'm going to walk into the nearest hospital and go, right, I paid for that machine. Get that little bald fucker off it. <laughs> Talking of um, little bald fuckers, I did the teenage cancer gig last year. What? No, I'd done it two years before, but they called again last year. We're still ill. <laughs> you lasted. It's a great gig, though. The kids with cancer get in for free, and you meet them afterwards, and, you know, they come backstage and you sign stuff for them. And I was doing the gig this last year, and I looked down and I recognised one of them. And I thought, oh, yeah, he came backstage two years ago. He was telling me about his illness, and he said he was 18. And that was then, that was two years ago, so now he must be 20. So how the fuck is he still a teenager? <laughs> and I was doing the gig, and he was laughing along, and I was thinking, yeah, you laugh it up, mate. I was fuming. And eventually it got too much for me. And I went, all right, mate, I recognise you. I went, hello, yeah. You came backstage two years ago, I went, yeah. I said, you said you were 18 then? I went, yeah, so you're 20 now? I went, yeah, I said, get out. And I called security, and they came. He struggled, but he was weak. I mean, I think they'd worked out, because they, although they had trouble getting hold of him to start with, you know, but eventually they, his drip nearly had someone's eye out. The crowd started booing, I went, hear that? They don't want to see someone like you take the piss out of me. No money. <laughs> I do a lot of work for AIDS as well. I've worked for AIDS charities for many years, from the mid to late 80s. And back then, people, they didn't know what this new disease, what's this new disease called AIDS? I mean, it's gone from strength to strength now, hasn't it? It's gone global, it's doing very well. <laughs> Got its own day and everything. World AIDS Day, 1st of December. I don't think it'll ever take off like Christmas. We don't do anything in our house, no decorations. You can't even get a card. They don't do, sorry, you got AIDS cards. They don't exist. Uh, fascinating fact about AIDS. People always learn stuff from my lectures. This is absolutely true. The HIV virus was actually a combination of two separate viruses in rhesus monkeys, and it formed a, a rudimentary form of AIDS. And uh, this was passed to chimpanzees. Sometimes chimps will get a bloodlust and they'll eat a, a rhesus monkey, and it sort of mutated and evolved in chimpanzees. And because we're 98.6% genetically identical to chimpanzees, it was able to be passed to humans. And the first human contracted AIDS when he was chopping up chimp meat and cut his finger. Although that's the excuse I'd have given. <laughs> You'd have to come up with someone, wouldn't you? The doctor goes, well, you're the first human to contract AIDS. You yeah. go, is that bad? Yeah, it can be. Well, how would I have got that? Two ways. One, you were fucking a chimp up the arse. <laughs> No way. What's the other way I could have got it? Uh, well, I suppose you could have been chopping up a chimp and cut your finger. That one. I bet he went straight out to the jungle and found that chimp. I went, Oi, you fucking gave me AIDS. I gave you what? You gave me AIDS. I gave you a blowjob. Shush. No, I got AIDS from you. Well, how did I get AIDS? From eating monkeys. <laughs> I, I don't eat monkeys. You were either eating them or fucking them. <laughs> I was eating them. Tastes like chicken. That's how it happened. Thanks very much. Good night.